Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and another beer review. Freem Brewing, their Pilsner. The brewery is uh, located about an hour east of Portland down the highway. They started around 2012. They have a pretty big selection of beers. Here's what the bottle looks like. They all have the same logo, uh, the same black and gold. The only difference I've ever been able to tell between all of them is the label up here, you know, the color and the style of beer. It says here in the back, Freem Pilsner is as refreshing and flavorful as its European cousin. With the aromas of fresh flowers and honey, we have managed to fit the Pacific Northwest into each bottle. That's the story I was reading right there at the top. Too blurry, but you get the idea. I'm not sure exactly when this beer was released. Most of them don't go into detail about what's first available. But there is a little bit of a, a story here on the website I'll read real quick. The story of Pilsner starts in 19th century Bohemia when a Bavarian monk smuggled a special used to a brewmaster in Pilsen. The story of Freem Pilsner starts in the Pacific Northwest where it requires a room of fresh grass and flowers and a touch of honey. While there are no monks involved in this Pilsner, there's a crisp and spicy finish. This beer is available all year round. The cost of this bottle was, I believe, right around $4. Gambrinus and Weyermann German Pilsner, Cara Foam, and Acidulated. Gambrinus is from Canada, if I remember right. Weyermann, I, I think that's how it's pronounced, is from Germany. That Pilsner malt, uh, two different manufacturers, two different regions. They're probably going to have a little different flavors because of the soil mineral content. Pilsner malt gives uh, of course, the, the base malt sugars, bread, cracker, dough, cara foam is for to increase body a little bit, mouthfeel and head retention. Acidulated malts, I've read they can give a bit of sourness, but another place said that helps uh, lower the mash pH for the water. The hops are pearl, sapphire, tetanang, and spalt select. Pearl hops are a little bit hoppy, typically fruity, spicy, Floral. Sapphire hops are citrusy primarily. I make an orange tangerine or something else. Tenninger hops are similar to the pearl except that they're not as bitter. But they're spicy, a little bit herbal. Spalt are known to be fruity and floral. Flavor profile, they're saying crisp, snappy, and floral. They give some further tasty notes down here. Shines brilliantly gold with a fluffy white foam, aromas of grass, flowers, with a touch of lemon. Mouth fills with zesty spiciness, touch of honey. Fish is crisp, crisp snappy, and refreshing. Uh, spring flowers, yeah, that's floral aroma. I, I am anticipating this to be a light, maybe a medium body. It's 4.9% alcohol, 35 IBU. Light color, like straw or a very pale, maybe a very light gold, and it just depends on your perspective. Absolutely clear, they should never be cloudy or hazy. They may be a little spicy, floral and fruity. They should not be hoppy. The bodies are usually light on them. Oh, look at that color. Wow, that's like lemonade. Very pale straw. This is pretty much what Pilsner malt looks like if that's all you use in it. The other malts I used aren't known to give color. Absolutely clear. You can see me and my fingers right through it. No, that's not my middle finger. The head is died down. It was uh, about a quarter of an inch. It's died down to about an eighth of an inch. It's not overly carbonated. In fact, very lightly done. No floating particles. Nothing at all. So high flocculating yeast, probably, possibly filtered. Uh, I'm sure they use kettle or cake findings. Clean. I'm not getting any sweet or grass or floral, which kind of disappoints me a little bit. Boy, I'm just trying to smell anything off the aroma here. I immediately give it lemon zest, or some citrus, I should say. I open up my mouth and then it shot to the rough, a little bit dancing around my tongue. I get a little bit of floral in my mouth, it tastes medium body, a little bubbly effervescent. The lemon zest, I can. I can tell it's her. If you didn't tell me that, I would have said citrus for sure. It's not strong, it's not punch in the face, but it's noticeable. And it feels like somebody's taking, say, a brush of lemon and just going back and forth on the roof of my mouth. The flavor stays there for 
several seconds, quite, you know, a decent amount of time, and just evaporates. There is a little bit of sweetness and spiciness. They say touch of honey, but there's no honey in here. There are some malts that are known to give a honey flavor, but they're not used in here. Fruitiness is definitely from the hops. I'm not noticing any bread, biscuit, or dough, or anything like that from the Pilsner malt. This is not hoppy or bitter at all. Spicy, bubbly, lemon zest are the most noticeable flavors. And the citrus is there. No tanginess. I had floral earlier in the first few sips. No earthy, nothing like that. I expect a Pilsner to be crisp, clean, and bright. This is clean. I don't really get much crispness. It's not bright. The recipe is simple. There's only three malts in it. There's four hops. The beer has some character to it, not a lot. A medium body, lemon zest hits me, opens up in my mouth, then goes to the top, brushes back and forth. Same spiciness, tiny bit of sweetness. I don't get as much floral this time. Doesn't stick around very long, no aftertaste. I think the hops might be a little bit more noticeable out of the bottle. Other than that, they really, the bottle and the glass taste about the same. I have not had any off flavors of any Fram beers. I've never had any diastol or chemical, fused alcohols, bad fruit, uh, rubbing alcohol, oxidation, skunking from a bottle, astringency, cidery, nothing. Would I buy this again? Yeah, I'd buy another bottle or two of it, no problem. It's not a bad beer at all. I'm, I like it. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend this. I think it's a well done pilsner. I think you'd like it. I like the citrus in there quite a bit. I wish there was more noticeable flavors in there. I'd say it's average. I don't think they nailed the style dead on, but overall I think they did pretty good. Freem Brewing, the River, Oregon, Pilsner, and there's the whole bottle. If you have any comments, feedback, anything you want to say, um, yeah, leave, leave me some comments. That's all I have for this beer review. I'm going to finish off this Pilsner and uh, move on to something else. Prost! It can give a little sourness, but the manufacturer did different. Well, okay, let me back up here. Jesus, okay. They're saying it tastes like grass. I don't get this. How does anybody know what grass tastes like? How many of us go down there and eat it? If you're going to be eating grass, just forget a lawnmower. I'm getting thirsty, so let's open it up. This beer's going to drink itself. If it did, I'd be pretty pissed off because that means I paid for it and it drank itself. 